All right, here we're doing uh, the power chord. Uh, the power chord is very important. You've probably heard of it. Uh, and it, it really doesn't have anything to do with power, I guess, except that when you're, uh, if you're in a rock band and you're, you're playing with heavy distortion, uh, they use power chords all the time. And uh, maybe that's where it comes from, the word power. But anyway, uh, a power chord is basically just a, uh, an octave and a fifth. It's just three notes, or actually two notes. Uh, with the root note repeated, um, and it's just, just three strings on the guitar, and it, it's important because you know if you're playing rock music, it's important. If you're not interested in rock music, it's still important because it's the basis for playing bar chords. Okay, so it is important to learn. Uh, they sound cool even if you're not having distortion. If you're just playing. So you can use them even if you're not having distortion on it and uh, on your, your guitar if you're playing acoustic. Um, <clears throat> so what we want to do is, is learn how to do the power chord first. And you've already kind of done it already when you did the blues progression. That's why I taught that first because we're going to kind of start that way just to add a finger. This is how you do a power chord. And all power chords are movable chords, which means once you finger them, you can move them anywhere uh, on the neck and it'll still be the you know a power chord. So there are no open strings, uh, unless you're doing an open string power chord, but uh, that's another thing. So let's start on the 5th fret. I like to start on the 5th fret. It's a good place uh, on the guitar to, to start looking at these chords. And what we're going to do is take our first finger, our pointer finger, and put it on the 5th fret here. Okay? Like that. And then we're going to take the ring finger, and we're going to go to the A string two frets away. Now, I don't want to keep saying fret 7 and fret 9 because it's, it's just wherever you are on the guitar. So I'm going to be on the 5th fret here with my first finger, my uh, pointer finger, and two frets away on the very next string, the A string, I'm going to put down my ring finger. It's actually going to be on the 7th fret here in this case. Now, I have the two notes now. You want to test them. You don't want to sound like this. Have them both down. Now I'm going to add my pinky finger. You can see this on the very next string, the D string, same fret as the ring finger. Okay? So it's also in fret 7 as well. So now I have three strings, which is an octave and a fifth. It's a, the, the low note, the low string and the higher string are both A's, and the middle string in it is an E. It makes an octave and a fifth. And there's your power chord. Now they're important because later we're going to do this. We're going to do a bar chord. Tune a little bit. Uh, and, and the power chord is the basis for the bar chord. So you really need to learn these. So we have the power chord down, and you want to make sure all three strings come out. And what you can do with this first finger, this pointer finger, is it can have two jobs. Not only is it uh, pressing down the, the low E string, but it also can be muting the higher strings just in case you hit them by accident. You know, when you're getting into it and playing, you know, you're not being real particular about which strings you hit. So you can can have it, this finger is lightly touching, I'm kind of hooking it, and it's lightly touching all the other strings so that they don't come out by accident. Because you don't want this in your power chord. All right? So that's how you do a power chord. Now what you need to practice is moving that power chord around on the low E string. Okay, so we can do that by just starting down here on the first fret. Okay, so it's going to be one three three. And if you're ever looking at tab and you see one three three or two four four or three five five, you know it's a power chord because that's the the form of a power chord. And you want to. It's kind of like you have a rubber band around this pinky and this ring finger because they're just you know together like that. Because wherever the power chord goes, that's what you're doing. Okay, some people like to bar it like this. Now, I don't want you to do that for now because for the bar chord, we need to be used to using our pinky there. So <clears throat> go ahead and start on fret one, strum it about four times, and then move everything to the right. And then move it again. Two, three, four, one. And just go up and down. Now you can, you know, make up a chord progression if you want. Just skip around. You know, move up and down there with your power chords. There's a good 
good way to practice it. I notice I'm not doing this. I'm letting up the pressure on my finger so it mutes the strings. Mute and then move. Mute. So, and it mutes it automatically when you let the pressure off the strings with your left hand. Now, those are E, low E power chords because we're using the low E string. Now, we can also do power chords on the A string. <coughs> it's a little bit more difficult because of the muting, uh, but you do it essentially the same way. Let's go to fret 5 again. I like to do things on fret 5. So we have first finger on the A string, and then two frets away, we'll have the uh, ring finger, fret 7. And on the G string, also uh, fret 7, we'll have the pinky. So we have these three strings. Now it's more difficult because out of tune here. It's more difficult because uh, you have to mute the low E. You can't let the low E get in, get mixed in with your with your A power chord. Listen, uh, you want, you know. So make sure that low E doesn't get mixed in. How do you do that? You can say, well, I just won't pick it. it though that's too hard to do because it's the first string you go past, and it's, you know, you're gonna hit it by accident sometimes. So what you have to do is this first finger, this pointer finger, has three jobs. It's not only pressing down the A string, it's not only kind of hooked there so you touch the other higher strings so they don't come out, uh, but it's also the tip of it is lightly touching the low E string so it is muted as well. So it's doing three things. You may think, oh that's so, how can I think about all those things at once? Well, what you do is get used to the placement of that finger and once you get used to it, you don't have to think about three things. You just get your finger there. See, I'm strumming all the strings but only three are coming out because I have it muted. Okay, this first finger is muting the low E. It's muting the, the uh, B and the E string, the high strings. And it's also uh, holding down the root of the chord uh, in the fifth fret there. So you want to practice uh, being on the A string doing power chords. And then you want to practice going between the low E and the A string like I'm starting on the third fret on the low E, and then I'm going to the third fret on the A string, and then the fifth fret. Okay, so they're a lot of fun. You can do a lot of a lot of things with the power chord. Uh, so that's another thing to add to your your playing. Uh, and, and do those every day as well. And the next lesson we're going to learn how to mute and chuck with the, uh, with the power chords.